Hey YouTube, this is MindTech. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be answering some of the questions that I found in the comment section of my Epicam HD tutorial, just to make sure that you can have the best streaming and video conferencing experience possible. So without any further ado, let's jump right in. So I think one of the most common and worst issues that Epicam at least used to have is the white screen issue. If I pop on, open up the Epicam viewer on my laptop here, all we can see really is a white screen. That is a bug that Epicam had, I think around release 2.94. Yoni though has released a new version of it and I think it has fixed this bug. I'm not completely sure, but I'm first going to show you exactly how to fix this bug if you have it on your system. First, open up the services program and then click on any of these items here and press a K and that's going to bring you over to the Kioni surface. A surface is basically like a program that's always running in the background and it facilitates a really specific activity. Whenever I open up that Epicam app on my phone, this service is always listening to see if there's a connection being broadcast from the phone and the instant it hears that, it establishes a connection. And what we need to do is click on stop that surface. Then we need to go into the device manager and scroll down to the sound video and game controller section, double click that, and as you can see, there are two instances of Epicam. This is the problem that we're running into when the 2.94 installer put in the software, for some reason it decided to have two instances of the driver. The reason why it has a driver, first of all, is because Epicam is kind of like plugging in a webcam. It's facilitating this really low level communication of video. So in order to fix that white screen, double click any one of the Epicams, go to driver and click on uninstall device. Make sure to not click delete the device software for this device. That's going to remove the second Epicam and we're gonna start from ground zero again. Click on uninstall and now there's only one Epicam left. The reason why we stopped that service is because like I said it's constantly listening. So if you're deleting the driver for something that's listening that's going to cause a blue screen of death and nobody wants to have that happen. Make sure to go back into services and start that Kioni service again. And now if we open up the viewer now it's working perfectly fine. I do believe that they fixed this bug in the later version of the software. So what I recommend you do if you installed the software a few months ago is just download the new version by searching up the Kioni website, scroll down until you see download and install computer drivers and click on the download Windows drivers button and then click on that thing that downloaded down at the bottom of your browser. And before you install it, make sure to extract all the files and now run that installer. Make sure to accept the user account control. If you're kind of weary about installing this still, I made a video as to why this is not a virus. I have it linked down in the video description. Click on next, agree to the user account control agreement. Right now, there's an installer that just ran, but there's an uninstaller that ran also. I'm just going to close out of the uninstaller and have the installer restart the computer. Now, if I pop back onto the Epicam viewer, it's still working perfectly fine. Now, one thing to note during setup, make sure to accept installing software from Kioni Oi. If you don't do that, you're gonna create a plethora of issues. I believe that I cannot bind moniker to filter object issue. One comment that I've received a lot is that you can't access Epicam using webcam applications like OBS, Skype, Discord. The way to fix that, first of all, make sure that only that webcam application is accessing Epicam. And what I mean by that is make sure to not have the Epicam viewer open and have that application open at the same time. I have OBS running. And when I go to open up the Epicam viewer, it says that it is used by a different application. If I close OBS and try and open the viewer back up, it has access to the webcam. If I go into OBS, it's not going to give me that error. It's just going to be a blank screen. Make sure to close that viewer and then go into the video capture device for Epicam, deactivate it and activate it once again, connect up with my phone and it connects right on over to the laptop. Now I'm going to go and try and connect on with Discord. What you need to do is go down into the bottom left hand corner of the window and click on the user settings icon and then go into the voice and video tab under the app and settings section. Scroll down to where you see video settings and make sure that that camera is set to Epicam camera. These webcam applications set to the automatic audio device and the automatic video device. And since this is a laptop, it's going to automatically use the potato quality webcam. So 
now that I'm connected with Epicam, I can test the video, and this is exactly what we expect. If you've been having issues with your audio, make sure that you set the input device over to the Keone audio source, and with OBS, it should automatically add in the video capture device audio input feed, so make sure to actually go and mute the microphone slash auxiliary device so you don't have an echo from your built-in microphone and Epicam all at once. So if I connect Epicam back up and I check my microphone, Whenever I tap on my phone, it also taps on the voice feeder. And if I test my video, I have a video feed displaying right here. Now, some problems you might encounter might be to do with the privacy settings. If you don't allow access for Epicam on various applications in Windows, that can also create a lot of issues. Pop onto the Windows settings, go to the privacy section, and then under the app permissions, click on the camera tab and make sure that both Epicam viewer and any of your other webcam applications have access to use the camera. If I disable that and go back onto Discord, the preview freezes. And if I try and connect Epicam up, it won't even connect anymore. Since Epicam doesn't have access to use the camera, that's like unplugging your webcam from your computer. And that's the same case on OBS. It doesn't even have a feed from Epicam. So let me go back, re-enable that. Again, it's always a good idea in OBS to deactivate and activate your device. And now I'm getting a feedback up again. And the security problems might also be on the phone. If you're still having issues getting it to connect, or maybe you're having issues with the microphone working, pop onto your phone settings and scroll all the way down to where you see Epicam HD and make sure that it has access to both the microphone and the camera. If I disable those and try and open up the app again, it's going to yell at me and think that I literally just installed this. And it's going to tell me that it needs needs access to re-enable that and we are good to go. So some other miscellaneous things, I recommend that you use Epicam over a wired ethernet connection. If you don't do that, you're gonna have this lagalicious lag fest because you're basically trying to go from wireless to wireless to wireless and that's a lot to ask for for a wireless connection. If you can't do that, I recommend checking out something like a power line solution that still allows it to push the amount of data these high intensive applications need that wireless just can't achieve. Also, if you have multiple computers on your network that you want to use Epicam with, it might be an issue because it automatically connects to the one that is fastest. So for example, I have my workstation here and my laptop. It's going to connect to the workstation first because that's wired into the router. If you don't want it to connect to a certain computer, disable the Kioni service like I showed you in the beginning of this video. Also, you can just unplug the ethernet cable. That'll work the same way. Since that service was disabled, it's connected right now. Stop that service. It disconnects from the phone. And if I wait a little bit, it will connect on over to my laptop. And some other things that people were commenting on, they wanted to know if you could switch it to the front facing camera. All you have to do is look on the right hand side of the app and tap the first button that looks like some arrows. That switches on over to the ugly camera. And also you could invert the video feed. Where you might want to do that is in something like Skype or Discord. If you look right here, everything is kind of inverted and wonky. So if I go and press the invert button on the app, looks the way that it's supposed to look. As you can see, my hand is on the wrong side right here, but on the laptop it is on the correct side. And other than that, I had one person asking if you can connect this up via a USB port. That is possible now, and it is also possible to connect via the NewTek NDI protocol. Now, I've had really good experience with USB. It seems to be a lot more stable and a lot faster to connect, but the NDI stuff, I've never really checked it out with Epicam before, and as I demoed in my Epicam review video, I found out that the NewTek protocol works worse than the protocol that Epicam uses to connect. So I'm going to first plug in the iPad using the USB cable and if I open Epicam HD up right here notice up at the top it says connected using Wi-Fi and sometimes it will connect by default just because it has a powerful connection over Wi-Fi even if you still have the cord plugged in it might not be the case that it uses the cord if I unplug this it still is connected with the computer and although it is still low latency connection it isn't as low latency and as reliable as connecting it up using the cable so if I plug that back in and click on the gear icon up at the top top right hand corner and where I see connection method select USB. Just for a second there it disconnected and reconnected and now it says connected using USB. So if I unplug that cable no connection is established and one advantage of that is you're not gonna have to disable any services on other computers if you want to use Epicam. Look at that guys this is a really low latency connection even better than Wi-Fi. One other advantage of this is that it will charge your device while you are streaming so that means that you're not gonna randomly have your camera 
camera die, which would suck a whole lot. And also if there's an emergency, no more Epicam. Now another problem that Epicam has is by default it records at 640 by 480p and you add it into a webcam application like OBS. In order to fix that you need to manually change that resolution. So I'm going to go down to the scene in OBS and add in a video capture device. I'll call it new device. This computer actually has that bug that I fixed at the beginning of the video so there are two Epicam cameras. And as you can see it's only in this very tiny window and if you just click on OK it's only going to be at 640 40 by 480 and this is just going to be a terrible experience once you expand that out. So in order to fix this, go and double click on that new device again and where you see resolution slash FPS type, set that to custom. And then where you see the resolution, click that drop down and select 1920 by 1080. And for FPS, unfortunately this can only do up to 30 FPS even if your device is capable of 60. So just leave that as default and then click on OK. And since I zoomed it up, it's way big. And now you're able to get the full resolution of Epicam HD, which is exactly what I wanted. So with that said, guys, thank you all for watching this video. I hope that some of these troubleshooting tips can help you get Epicam working very well. I'm really happy that Yoni released a new version of the software. I think that it is going to be a lot more reliable and fix a lot of issues. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye-bye.